In this video, we will be looking at this tool LLMware. LLMware provides a unified framework for building LLM based applications, for example, for retrieval augmented generation agents, by using small specialized models that can be deployed privately, integrated with enterprise knowledge sources safely and securely, and cost effectively tuned and adapted for any business process. This paragraph is from their GitHub repo, and this is on the sort of the advertisement. In real experience, which I have done in the last few days or so, um, this tool works great as long as you stick to the path which they have shown in their examples, and there are plenty of them on their GitHub repo, and I will drop the link in video's description. As soon as you deviate from that path and try to uh, customize it, make it um, adapted to your own data, your own file, you start getting a lot of issues, a lot of errors, and the things simply become too annoying to follow. So good tool as far as the point is concerned that they have sort of created their own or fine-tuned their own models, small models, which you can either run on commodity hardware or a decent CPU on your laptop. I would still recommend a smallish 8GB, 4GB VRAM GPU to run this stuff because on CPU it will be dead slow. Having said that, so this is a good thing that they have created this sort of framework. But as I mentioned earlier, even for a simple retrieval augmented generation pipeline, you are likely to face a lot of issues. And even if you get it working, and we will be installing it locally, and I will show you what I mean then you have to stick to some of the things which they have specified and you have to go through their documentation which is still quite sparse plus you have to uh, jiggle your way through all of these github repo stuff anyway so if you are looking to learn rack if you're looking to see how this thing works then i would highly suggest install this play around with your their um, examples quite good but if you are looking to deploy it in the production, I am a bit uh, skeptical around that. Anyway, so that is my own personal opinion. And of course, I have proven to be wrong most of the time. So no, don't take my word for it. Play with it and then make your own judgment call. Now let's go to um, my local system. And then first we will see how to install it. And then I will show you an example which I have created. Uh, with my own data before I, we go to our local system i just wanted to give a huge thanks to our good friends at mast compute who have sponsored this vm and the gpu which i will be using so the gpu which i will be using is nvidia rtx a6000 and vm is ubuntu 22.04 but the examples which i'm going to show you you can try them out on windows too but i think that they work best on linux so if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to mast computes website in video description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code which will give you further 50 percent discount on an already discounted offering highly recommended no lock-in contract quite performant okay so that said and done let me first take you to the vs code and i will show you how to get it installed this is my vs code i would highly suggest that you install conda on your environment because it will keep everything nice and simple i have tried this tool with python 3.11 there are a lot of bugs so i would highly suggest that you install it with python 3.10 which as you can see that i have just created this environment with python 3.10 then activate that environment and then these are the two things which you need to install in uh, in order to install the LLMware, just simply do pip install LLMware and then do you have to install this gRPC. So gRPC is um, primarily used for remote procedure call and this gRPC Python is a framework uh, that allows you to build scalable and efficient distributed systems and APIs and you can do a lot of things with it. For example, you can define your service using uh, protobufs or protocol buffers which allows for language agnostic and platform agnostic communication and you have to go with this version of grpcio otherwise you will face a lot of bugs 
okay so that is done then import some of the libraries from here from llmware config once that's done just set your sqlite database so this is the database which is residing on own system to make it lightweight that is quite good now if you want to do the rag retrieval augmented generation on your local system you have to have this structure you have to have put it in this sample files you can create the library so i will tell you what exactly is happening in these lines because this is quite confusing now first up what is rag rag stands for um, retrieval augmented generation what it means in with simple words is that if you want to use large language models with your own data then that data first has to be converted into numerical representation and store it in some sort of vector store and then whenever you would ask some question from llm in context of your own data your own data will be augmented to your question and then llm will have more context around your data so that is what the whole end-to-end -end drag is in simple words so here for example you want to have um, your own file which you want to talk with it for example in this example what i'm doing it i have just created a simple pdf file i have put in my personal information and pdf file and then i am asking this llm about myself of course these llms don't know about me so when i provide them my own personal data then they are aware who i am so this is what rag is now so you have to just so i stored my file pdf file in this directory and then i created a library so every file or all the files or all the data you use you have to create a library around it such as this i just created this library and then i get i put uh, all of my files this is just one file in this directory i will show you too shortly and then you can add multiple files in it that is a good thing about it and then you have to update the library and all that stuff this is where i'm asking the query from this is my own query so it will go browse through my documents and then get the relevant data and then i'm just printing the text here and this is all other metadata if you want to print it out but i'm just printing the text here and what exactly is returned so now let me uh, take you to uh, my system where we will be running it and we'll see it in action first quickly this is a terminal where as you see i am already in this directory which i showed you that my home and if your operating system user is different just replace it there and then if i do the ls you will see this is my data and if i do ls dash ltr on my data this is my pdf file okay now let me take you back to the vs code so i have just opened it in my terminal and you see that this is the whole code which i just walked you through so if i run this code name it this so the text query is fahad mirza so it has gone into my own pdf file and extracted all of this information if i just say something else let's say i'll just call it maybe i'll just say it football and let me save it and let me run it again it shouldn't return anything there you see so it didn't return anything because it couldn't find this thing locally and when you run it first time it will also download their model and in this case if i uh, they just use a model uh, simply from their own repo by default and they also have given some other examples so for example if i just select this do rag one this is their own uh, stuff where they download some sample documents and then go through it you can specify the model too like they have done in this example and this example is present in their github repo where they are just using this bling model so they just download it i already have downloaded it. it's a 1 billion model quite small i think around under 5 gig of size i i believe if i'm right so this is how you can do the rag with it with your own file and then of course you can create a gui on top of it and if you go to, to their github repo you will see that they have created few of these mo models for example there are slim models which are good for function calling 
Dragon model for RAG, Blink for CPU based RAG optimized, which we just saw. And then this is a BERT model and this is a GGUF quantization they support. But still, um, you know, a project in evolution. And I believe there is a lot of room for improvement, especially to make it more easier, especially around documentation, especially to make it tailored to your own use case. I think there is a long way to go for this project. But all in all, really good effort. Let me know what do you think about it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.